Hi, Matt Wyand with BTE. Today I want to talk with you about our BTE 308 High Rail Mini Excavator. This is a new addition to our fleet. This machine can handle approximately 10 different attachments to handle a wide variety of your track maintenance needs. So I want to talk about the Rototilt unit that we have on our BTE 308 High Rail Excavator. This is a R4 High Flow Rototilt unit. This provides 360 degrees of rotation to all the attachments that go on it. 40 degrees of tilt to either side for every attachment. So it has the high flow circuit on here, which we use with our brush cutter, we use with our cold air snow blower, we use with our uh, culvert cleaner systems, wide variety of attachments that utilize this, uh, as, along with the auxiliary circuit, which we can use with grapple buckets, tie heads, tampers, uh, wide variety of attachments that can be used with this to uh, handle your railroad task needs. So I want to take a minute and talk about the high rail system that we have on this BTE 308 mini excavator. Uh, this utilizes a chain drive system similar to what we use on our large excavators. We've just been able to shrink it down and fit it into our mini excavator line. Uh, this system is actually equipped to do up to 22 miles an hour, which will allow you to tram uh, in your gangs and keep up with gang speeds with your other machines. This is equipped with uh, service and parking brakes on it for additional safety when you're out there working. It's also equipped with roller rail clamps on it to stabilize the machine if you need to be working over the sides while you're out on the track. And also just for that additional level of safety, we have added the derail bars onto the front of the machine just in case anything should happen while you're out there tramming with the machine. So on the front box on our BT-308 High Rail Mini Excavator, this can actually be used for storage. If you need to carry tools, you need to carry clips, spikes, anything, you throw that in here. We also have hookups on the front here. Uh, if you would need to use a track jack, if you need to go out and do bridge tie work or anything, we also have the hookups there to be able to run our, uh, our track jack system on it as well. So I want to do a walk around to show you some of the engine compartments here for the Caterpillar. Uh, machine. So uh, right behind the cab here we've got the uh, hydraulic pump is right here. We've got the exhaust. We've got the windshield washer fluid inside of this compartment. As you come around to the back we have our antifreeze it's right here. Your engine oil dipstick it's right here. You've got your alternator right there. Your engine oil fill up on top. Back here in the back corner, we got our air filter here, we've got our radiators, we've got our battery in here. On this side over here, we've got your uh, fuel water separator, fuel filters right here, and then you've got uh, your battery disconnect, which you can just turn off, pull the key out. You've got the hasp on it. You can do your lockout tag out on the machine if needed. And then up front here, this is your diesel fill right up, front, up top here, your hydraulic oil fill in here, and then right up front on the machine here, this is a sight glass for your hydraulic oil tank. 